हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वर्चुअल क्लास ऑफ ड्रिंक आउट थियरी इन प्रीवियस अ फ्यू सेशंस आई हैव डिस्कस्ड बेसिक क्वेश्चंस ऑफ द चैप्टर सो टुडे इन दिस सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस वन technical question of learning curve theory before discussion of the solution let us refer the question first abc company limited supplied 20 special machines to a customer in october 2020 the average cost per unit here the cost is given per unit is as follows materials rupees 900 labor department x 200 hours amount 1200 department y 150 hours amount 900 and the total cost per unit is rupees 3000 in this question rate of labor per hour is not given but we can easily calculate with the help of given information labor cost for department x is rupees 1200 and number of working hours employed in department x 200 so 1200 divided by 200 so the rate of labor for department x is rupees 6 while in case of department y rupees 900 that is a total labor cost for department y and working hours 150 900 rupees divided by 150 hours so the rate of labor for department y is also rupees 6 now further information is also given by the examiner in order to understand the solution of the problem in november 2020 same type of 30 machines are to be supplied here it is clearly mentioned that we need to prepare more 30 number of units are to be supplied to another customer for quotation purpose you are required to calculate the cost department x is a labor intensive department x is labor intensive and an 80% learning curve is applicable to the process department y is highly mechanized and operating through fully automatic machines if production increases 2.5 times the average time will be 74.9% when 80% learning curve is applied before solution of this problem it is necessary for you to understand a few important items here we have two different department department x and department y as per the information given in the question department x is labor intensive and department y is highly mechanized and operating through fully automatic machines in a very first lecture of the topic i have discussed that learning curve is applicable to the labor intensive production techniques not to the capital intensive production techniques it means from department x and y calculation of learning curve is applicable to department x only and department y is not affected by any effect of learning curve as department y is fully automatic in case 
when machines are working learning curve theory is not affected to the production because human skill may improve with the experience the skills of machine cannot be increased with the experience or numbers of operations second thing here it is also mentioned that if production increases 2.5 times the average time will be 74.9% when 80% learning curve is applied so again in this question information is also given with a different variety earlier we have followed the traditional system of doubling the production 1 2 4 8 16 16 or batch wise one batch two batches four batches eight batches and so on but here the story is connected with the production which is 2.5 times in this question the examiner has given all relevant information to us now we need to interpret this information very clearly as per the information given to us over here the company has already produced 20 special machines and again one more order is received for 30 special machines let us solve the problem units already produced 20 as it is given in the very first line of the question units to be produced for this particular order 30 so in this way total number of units will be 50 so when you establish the relationship that at present units of productions are at 20 and after manufacturing of 30 new units units of production in total will be 50 so the production increased to 2.5 times 20 multiplied by 2.5 resulting into 50 so the examiner will provide you information in such a way so as we can solve the problem very easily but we need to establish certain relationships as it is suggested by the examiner original number of units produced by the company 20 if we accept the order of 30 units then total number of units to be produced by the company 20 plus 30 is equal to 50 and this 50 is 2.5 times than original production of 20 units so automatically the things available to us in the question proved that if the production is increased to 2.5 times and it is automatically increased to 2.5 times over here so with the help of the information given to us in the question we need to sort out the data now let us calculate the most important item that we need for the solution of this problem number of units average time taken per unit when 80% learning curve is applicable it is also mentioned in the question and total time taken when we have produced 20 units for the manufacturing of 20 units we are in a need of 200 hours and total time taken is 4000 hours when we used to produce 50 units at 80% learning curve the average time is 74.9% when the production increased to 2.5 times it is a mentioned in the question so using the same information without any technical calculation we need to apply 74.9% directly 
so earlier the average time was 200 hours so now the time is 200 hours multiplied by 74.9% so it is 149.8 hours so total hours required for the manufacturing of 50 units 7490 at this point of calculation I would like to inform you that right now we are calculating everything for department X as it is mentioned in the question that department X is a labor intensive for machine intensive or capital intensive production technology learning curve is not affected to us. So this entire calculation affects to cal product department X. So in a department X, we were in a need of average 200 hours per unit while making 20 units. So total time taken by them 4000 hours. As per the information, if the production is a 2.5 times, so you can easily check it is 2.5 times. The average time taken will be 74.9%. It is a ready-made given. So, average time taken 149.8 and total time taken will be 7490 hours. Now, using this information, we can easily calculate labor cost for the manufacturing of additional 30 units. Total time required to produce 50 units. As per our calculation, we are in need of 7490 hours. At the time of manufacturing 20 units, we have utilized 4000 labor hours. So with the comparison of these two information, you can easily judge that for the additional production of 30 units, we are in need of 3490 hours for the manufacturing of 50 units 7490 for the manufacturing of first 20 units 4000 so 7490 minus 4000 equals to the amount the difference 3490 hours now labor cost as per our calculation, labor cost was rupees 6 per hour. We need 3490 hours for department X to produce additional 30 units of production multiplied by rate rupees 6 per hour that we have completed in initial level of analysis of our question. So, the labor cost is 20,940. Again, I repeat, this calculation is concerned with department X only. For department Y, there is no effect of learning curve. After this calculation, let us move to the final part of our answer. The books of ABC Company Limited, a statement showing calculation of cost for 30 units. As per the requirement of the question, we need to calculate for additional 30 units only. We need not to calculate for 20 units or 50 units, but we need to calculate exactly for 30 units as required by the examiner. Now we need to prepare a statement showing calculation of cost for 30 units. First of all, we need to insert amount of materials. In our question, it is clearly mentioned that the cost of material per unit is rupees 900. So 900 rupees per unit multiplied by 30 units. So the cost of material is rupees 27,000. 
लेबर कॉस्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स सो वी नीड टू एंटर लेबर कॉस्ट फॉर बोथ द डिपार्टमेंट्स दैट इज डिपार्टमेंट एक्स एंड डिपार्टमेंट वाई डोंट फॉरगेट डिपार्टमेंट एक्स इज अ लेबर इंटेंसिव एंड लेबर इंटेंसिव डिपार्टमेंट्स आर इंफ्लुएंस्ड बाय लर्निंग कव एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड कैलकुलेशन ऑफ लेबर कॉस्ट फॉर डिपार्टमेंट एक्स यूजिंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ लर्निंग कव जस्ट बिफोर अ फ्यू मिनिट्स We have completed calculation of labor cost in Department X, and it is rupees at twenty thousand nine hundred and forty. While Department Y is capital intensive, it is a fully mechanized and based on automatic machines. So the effect of learning curve is not applicable to the Department Y. and we are not in a need of any kind of calculations for department y so simply refer the question in your question it is clearly mentioned that cost of labor for department y per unit is rupees 900 or you can say 150 hours multiplied by 6 rupees multiplied by 30 units so the cost of labor for department y is rupees 27000 for department x we have completed calculation under the effect of learning curve but in department y there is no effect of learning curve so direct calculation like all other per unit expenses given to us so the total cost is rupees Seventy four thousand nine hundred and forty. Because any other expenses are not given, neither fixed overheads nor variable overheads, or any other expenses are not given to us in this question. So directly, the result referred to as total cost, and the amount of total cost is. Seventy four thousand nine hundred and forty. Now, as per the requirement, we need to calculate cost per unit. How to calculate cost per unit? It is not new for us. Total cost divided by number of units. Total cost seventy four thousand nine forty. For manufacturing of 30 units so 74940 divided by 30 units equals to rupees 2498 this is one of the technical question of learning curve theory i hope everybody is clear with the solution and conceptual understanding of the answer thank you keep watching the next sessions